group of Catholic schools representing 15 different congregations. We have 75 schools now, primary and post-primary. La Kayla then represents the coming together of all of those, the synergies, the energies, and we work together to support those schools on all matters that are related to their ethos, to their property, and to their finance. When Sister Cara and Sister Rosemary O'Looney came to the Lakela office, temporary office as we were in at the time, to tell us that they were donating the property to the trust, I was aware that there was a gate lodge here and I knew it was empty and not being used by anybody and I thought, hmm, just had a moment of inspiration, wouldn't it be lovely to have an office of our own? We're absolutely delighted that this site, which was the original site of the school still is the site of the school, but this piece of land was surplus to school needs. So we donated it to the Cadia Trust for the Education Centre. So that's an enormous joy to us. Really the inspiration was to provide a home for um, the trust and to, to almost take that quite literally so to make a building that felt like a home there was a maybe an air a slight bit of domesticity in what is probably in some ways an institutional building so I mean that's why the form of the building is the way it is it's a very recognizable sort of homely form it's a pitched roof single story it could almost be a bungalow The craftsmanship, you know, in what we had to deliver in this building um, gives me a huge amount of pride. The, or when I come back now at this stage and I have a look at this building, the end product, the time and effort, the thought process that went into delivering the building, when I look at the building now, I, I, I would have a great degree of pride in that, Jess. What we were very keen to do is to make sure that we get light from all sides so that you're very aware of the passing of the day as you go through, so the light moves um, as, the, as the day goes on and then the connection to nature. Um, you know, the idea of how the boardroom, every room looks out um, towards um, either a garden or the wider landscape. I just love the way the architect has done it and the way they have used the environment and respected the environment. We had been in temporary accommodation. We had already moved twice. Uh, in total, like this is our fourth move in 12 years. So from a practical point of view, it was great to think that we would have an office of our own. And it would embody the values that Lakela shows and lives by. Um, so things like the sustainability of the building, the brightness, the, the recognition of nature here, sort of a beautiful building. And that is part of what we're about, I suppose, in Lakela. The artist who created the Lycalia icon used the symbol of keys because keys are important for opening up, opening up access and education opens up and gives access to new knowledge, new skills, new possibilities. If you're given a key, it usually means you're being trusted to mine something. Maybe it's your key of your home, the keys to your car. Keys are important symbols and in the Lycalia crest there is both the cross of the of St. Bridget, but also the traditional ancient Celtic symbol of the interlocking keys. Um, there are pathways shown in that piece of work. The pathways represent the different charisms, all leading in the same direction, which is to enable students to achieve their full potential in education. And even though there are differences in the 15 congregations. Our vision is the same, to enable students to grow, to develop, and to reach their full potential. Catholic education is for the future. So building a purpose-built office for Lakela was kind of an, almost a representation of that. We're not just about the past and about the heritage. While we value that, we're here for the future. We look forward to welcoming all of our board members, our school leaders, our teachers, our students, particularly our student leaders, all of our schools, primary and post-primary, to come here and to avail of our centre for different purposes. Maybe they want a meeting area, an interview space, maybe they want a workshop area. And again, it's a lovely building in which we have that optional space for people to have those meetings, to have conversations, to create connections. And it's just great to know that 
the sisters who came in 1953 that was created then and through Lakela Trust is continuing on. With justice, we are called to love with tenderness. We are called to serve each other. We are called. 